Honda CBR 900 RRW, first registered 31st of December 1997. So somebody bought themselves a New Year's present a while back. Go and have a look. Right on the front, we've got a Pirelli Dragon. I'd say about three mil on average there. Take into account that they come with about the front tire starts with about four and a half mil, and you get ten thousand miles out of them. So you can do the maths yourself. Um, discs I've got no lipping on at all, so that kind of goes towards indicating the mileage along with the MOTs uh, that I've got from the past. It shows it's it's probably genuine. Okay, front guard's all good. It's got a couple of minor little marks here. They'll probably most of those will T cut out, but they're only minor. Headlamps are all good damage or cracks to those it's got the tinted blue double bubble screen that's all cool it's got a pair of carbon uh, mirrors on it no damage to those uh, this anodized blue brake lever and bar end weight no damage to those uh, it's got these little mini carbon indicators front and back they're okay now coming down to the rest of the fairing, there's no indication of any slide damage anywhere on here. No scuffs or scratches. A couple of little tiny marks in here. Could come from wherever, um, but they're nothing significant. Clutch cover, that's all good. It's got some hairline, but I would think this is from a, I don't know if somebody boot or something. Got the hairline, but they're marks in the paint they're not scuffs um, the belly pan here has got some marks on it but that is undoubtedly from the guy's foot from um, breaking uh, the lever and the peg themselves are good it's this gold anodized peg here uh, it's got a carbon can on it now these are very fragile and they can split and crack easy uh, but this one has no damage on it, no signs of any scuffs or scrapes or slides. Uh, whizzing back up here to this side of the tank, it's all good. There's no dents or scratches there. The uh, driver's seat, no tears, no rips. And the right hand seat panel, there's no damage to that at all. Looking at these high edges here to see any signs of any slides, but there are none. And on the back we've got a, a Metzler Sportec. It's hard to tell the um, depth on these because they start from wow really deep and then they run away to nothing. But I'd say useful is I don't know three and a half mil in there. It's about halfway through its life, and it's got this um, colour matched um, hugger on it here, and the um, painted seat converter. I'm going to start it up so you can have a listen to the motor. There we are. Put my hand over the end of the exhaust, wind that down a bit. And you can hear there's no nasty noises there. So let's go and have a look around the left hand side. And here we are on the left. The other side of the uh, front guard, so it could do with a good old wash, but there's no damage to it really. Uh, done the headlamp, done the screen. This mirror is all good, no damage on it, this carbon mirror. Uh, clutch lever and the anodized uh, bar end weight, no damage there. Coming down onto the fairing, that's all good. It has got a fleck of paint missing out of it here. It's just um, flicked off. Uh, the guy hasn't tried to hide it. Um, that's probably the worst mark on the bike, um, but could be done. But too much problem. Coming down to the rest of the fairing and belly pan here. No damage. The alternator cover, again, no damage. 
frame on both sides in fact um, no damage because when when these things go down these bar end weights come around and put the dent in there but there isn't any the rest of the tank that's all good There's no dinks or damage there it's got this union jack zip protector coming down to the gear change lever that's all good the driver's peg now nah, that has been filed away um, but seeing as there's no evidence of any damage anywhere else including this left hand hanger and they take it if they go over <coughs> and this left hand seat panel I'd say this is just from hairy cornering um, that's kind of about it there's a little mini indicator on the back there chain and sprockets well they look pretty 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 good that's a good chain on there no wear and the sprockets although the camera can't really get in there there oh, was a bit no hook in and I'd say they're they're fairly new um, maybe even original because it's only done 20 odd thousand miles and just one more quickie in there you can't see but it's got the uh, steel hoses and it's in there in the blue anodized like he's got elsewhere and nice little touch here a chrome mirror stroke top fairing mount so there we are that's the end of that little video Oh, no hands.